Hi, it's Pete Coors. I'm on the board of the Western Stock Show Association, and I'm here today with a very special friend and person who's a great friend of the National Western Stock Show, Sharon Magnus. Sharon, thanks for coming and spend a little time with us. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, Sharon, you've been coming to the Stock Show for a long time. Tell us a little bit about that history. Well, I'm a Philadelphia girl originally. Actually, I was born there by mistake. And I started coming to the Stock Show in 1987 because my first husband was showing limousine cattle. So then we moved on to showing horses um, after that. So this was quite a shock to me for a Philadelphia girl. But being a horse lover, I just fell in love with the stock show. Just loved it. Went to every booth, bought everything for years. <laughs> well, it's fun. You know, there's so much going on here between the, the uh, activity with the cattle in the yards and the horse show, and which uh, we're here at the paddock of the uh, uh, National Western Event Center. And uh, horse, uh, horse activity is going on here right, uh, right as we speak. You have some history with this facility. I love this facility. So in 1993, I was planning Western Fantasy, which is a nonprofit event for Volunteers of America. And I came and looked at the horse arena and thought it would make the perfect ballroom. Not too many people agreed with me. I brought a lot of my society friends and they said, you've got to be kidding. I said, no, just picture it. We can, you know, they'll um, pack the floor, we'll put a carpet on it, and we'll turn this into a ballroom. And so this past year was our 25th year, and we probably raised over 27 million, 25 million. Yeah, I think it's uh, it, it really brought a lot of notoriety to this facility, and uh, the, the Western Fantasy is a terrific event and, and raises money for really good reasons. We're going to have some new facilities. How do you feel about the National Western Center and all all we're doing there? I am so excited. You know, I love the event center, but. Um, I'm just excited to see what they'll do um, with the new facility, you know, selfishly for Western Fantasy. But then the whole complex, I love everything about this complex. Yeah, we're going to turn uh, a facility that really is uh, important about 16 days a year for National Western Stock Show into a year-round uh, facility where we can have lots of activities. And actually, th through your leadership of bringing the, your event here, um, with our new facilities, I think we'll keep this place uh, loaded up all the time. Well, I'm an event girl, as you know, and I see lots of possibilities with lots of facilities here. I think one of the things I couldn't uh, fail to mention was, was Thunder. Um, and uh, we actually have a life-size uh, model of Thunder that was painted by Duke Beardsley here in the Event Center. You want to talk a little bit about that? Well, the, it's, it's modeled after the cow parade in Chicago where they painted cows and put them on the streets. And so this is an equine version and Thunder's one of the first horses and it's called Thunder for Humanity. It's going, all the proceeds from donations for the horse will benefit the National Western Campaign. And what we'll do is he's been visiting all around the city. He's here for the entire stock show. And then we'll take him, you know, do a little more visiting around the city and we'll auction him off at an event. Well, Sharon, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a thrill to have you as a friend and uh, all you do in this community philanthropically and, and through your activities, I can't thank you enough. And thanks for your support of the National Western. Uh, it's my pleasure. I love this whole show. I love this facility.